Hello and welcome back to TEW 2016. I'm here once again with my WWE series. We are here with the second to last SmackDown before the Royal Rumble, so let's start. We kick off with Shane McMahon in his office and he says, Tonight, we have a great night of action as Daniel Bryan will team up with the New Day to compete against the Elite. Also, in the main event, we will see John Morrison against AJ Styles and we will have Randy Orton versus Rusev. But I have an announcement regarding the WWE title cage match at the Rumble. Whoever walks out of that match with the title will walk with it into WrestleMania. Because whoever wins that match will not have to defend the WWE title until WrestleMania. Our next we have a 52 D plus match here. Asuka defeats Madison Lane. Um, this is not a call out for Madison. This is just a one off appearance here. And next we have a 70 C plus promo. And Asuka says at Roadblock, Becky was ready for Asuka. At the Royal Rumble, Asuka is ready for Becky. All right, next to a 97A plus here. As Rusev comes down in the ring for his match, Randy Orton's music hits. He doesn't come out, but he does appear on the Titan Tron. And Orton says, Rusev, do you really think I'm coming out there tonight to face you in the shit show of a town? No, I don't care about Shane McMahon making this match. I don't give a damn about any of these people. But you know what? I will see you next week. Randy Orton is now off the Tron. Rusev turns around right into an RKO out of nowhere. Orton tells the referee to ring the bell for the match. He does hesitantly be... I mean, there is a match scheduled, so he does ring the bell. Orton picks Rusev up, hits another RKO. One, two, three, and he celebrates. All right, next we have a 71 C-plus match from the Bludgeon Brothers, and after the match, they celebrate, and it's announced that they will compete against the Young Bucks for the tag titles at the Rumble. All right, next we have a 59C match as Becky Lynch defeats Sonya Deville with a submission to disarm her. And after the match, she cuts a promo and she says, Asuka, you say you'll be ready for me. No one is ready when the man comes around. And at the Rumble, the man is going to kick your ass back to Japan. All right, next we have a 69C plus um, hype for the team of Brian and the New Day and a 54C minus hype for the Elite and an A. 78 B match. I was expecting a C plus match or a B minus at the very most, but good. That's a B. The elite Kenny Omega Young Bucks defeat um, Biggie, Biggie Xavier, Kofi, and Brian when um, Kenny defeats Biggie. And F, who had the best performance of the match? Daniel Bryan, obviously. Okay, then, then Kenny Omega was a pretty distant second. All right, after the match, Kenny Omega grabs a mic and he says, It doesn't matter who you are. If you've main evented WrestleMania, if you shake your hips uncontrollably, if you look scary as hell, it doesn't matter because we are the elite. And nothing scares us. Nothing will get in our way of greatness. At the Royal Rumble, the Bucks will beat the Bludgeon Brothers. Cody will take the U.S. title. Then either he or I will win the Royal Rumble and go on to main event WrestleMania against either AJ Styles or The Miz. But now we must bid you farewell from the elite. Goodbye and good night. Bang. All right, next to a 91 promo here from AJ Styles. He says, tonight I make John Morrison pay. Then at the Royal Rumble, I make you pay, Miz. Then I go on to WrestleMania as WWE champion. But like I said tonight, your boy Morrison pays the price for what he did at Roadblock. Right, an 85 B plus match. I was not expecting this great of a match here. I was ex I was expecting this to be a bust, really. Um, A J Styles even he seemed off his game and puts in an 85 B plus with John Morrison. A J Styles defeats Morrison with a Styles clash, and in the match, basically the last five minutes of the match, I would have A J just destroying Morrison, just um, beat you know hits a phenomenal forearm, refuses to pin him, and just punches him and kicks him and finally hits a Styles Clash for the win. And after the match, The Miz comes in, lays AJ Styles out with the WWE title to the back of the head and celebrates with Maurice to end the show. And the show gets an 87B+. I think that may be the best show. I know it's the best SmackDown, I'm pretty sure, that I've had so far in the series. But anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. Thanks so much again. I will see you guys next time.